How's it going everyone? That one blind guy here coming at you with another video review. Today I got the Eschenbach Smart Lux Digital. Let's get right into the review. Hey guys, all right, so here we are, Eschenbach, close up and personal. All right, so first thing you notice is that it's got a really nice hard case. This is awesome actually, because it really gives you that extra insurance if you're ever taking it on a trip. Um, you know, you get on a plane, you throw it in your backpack, whatever. Uh, you don't have to worry about it breaking as much because it's a really nice hard case and it's zipped up and it's, it just gives you that extra security. So first pro right there in the casing. I love it. Second of all, whenever you open it up, you're immediately presented with the device. Uh, the device is actually designed really well. It's very ergonomic and uh, it's quite discreet compared to its comp competition. Um, I've held things like Pebbles and uh, you know other devices like these. And they just, they're so much bulkier. And I, one thing that really made me drawn to this is that it's so much more discreet. And, uh, you know, it's just a little bit more modernized looking, in my opinion. I know this device is a couple years old now, but it just, it just seems very, it just seems very um, contemporary for what it is compared to its competition. So first things first, power on the device. You're immediately presented with its default zoom setting let me open this little hatch it's got these little this little leg stand right here and this uh this leg stand so that you can read took a picture um so yeah you can push that take a picture screenshot something you want and pull it up and you can zoom it it's not really going to come in too well but uh on camera um so the middle button is to zoom in Here's, here's where my problem is, though, with this, is that it doesn't have no 1.5 or 3 magnification. It jumps straight into 5, then it goes to 7, then it goes to 9, and then it goes to 12. And sometimes, like, these these settings are good, but sometimes you don't need it to be that zoomed up. And being visually impaired myself, and uh, as many of you may already, you know, understand, it's super annoying when things are zoomed up more than they need to be. And, you know, sometimes you're looking at something just small enough to where you can't read it, and you only need a tiny bit of zoom. Um, and if it's over-zoomed, it's just annoying. You know, it's really... It's really just annoying, and um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to power this off real quick, show you guys the default setting one more time. So this is the one I normally keep it under, and this is the, uh, the contrast that is preferably my favorite. Um, just because it is black background white it also jumps to yellow with black jumps to black with yellow jumps to standard and then it's and en enhanced brightness um the only thing i don't like about this device other than the zoom feature is that this led is always on and it's super annoying because right now it works great in these low light situations but if you're outside and, the, and it's super bright outside it just really distorts the video and it basically just makes it like impossible to see but I mean, other than those two things, I think this device is really good, especially compared to what its uh, competition is. Um, I really like the fact that you can hold it like this. It's Like I said, it's very ergonomic. I just hate this light. I really do. I wish I could turn that off. Um, but other than that, the device is pretty good, and I do recommend it for anybody that has uh, a low-light sensitive eye condition that it makes it hard for them to see with uh, low light because this will help you indeed uh, read things especially at night like if you're reading your book or you know whatever it is um it helps me a lot with homework for one um but yeah i really like it and then when you're done you just uh pull down the stand turn it off present it with that good old german eschenbach logo put it in the case zip it up throw it in your backpack throw it in wherever you got it stored and you don't have to worry about it breaking because it's in this nice case all right guys well thank you for watching the review There'll be more coming up soon. I also got the uh, eSight here. eSight 3 coming in hot. I'll give you guys my honest review about that next. Thank you guys again. Continue watching. Hit like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content. I'm that, I'm that one blind guy, and remember, keep it real.